Hey Justin, want well, to thank you so much for the opportunity to come out in your beautiful home here. I want to just carry you up on the roof to give you a better idea of what's going on and show you the age of the shingles and the um, condition of the roof. So this again is a three tab code minimum shingle, um, about 18 years old, give or take. And I can tell that you've had a, a lot of debris, a mat of debris on here for a long time. Pretty sure there's going to be some soft spots in there because what happens is, let me just show you right here. What will happen is that, it hadn't rained in a couple days, but this stuff holds moisture. You can see right there how it gets, start, it gets darker as the mat gets thicker. It holds moisture and also bugs. And you can actually see some bugs moving around in there. So these things will absolutely eat through your shingles and allow water to start penetrating. What surprised me if this valley is a little bit soft as well from holding moisture for longer than it should. Um, mainly the other thing I wanted to show you was that the age of these shingles, you know, you're not missing any tabs just yet, but you are going to pretty soon start experiencing that. When you start seeing granule depletion like this, you can actually see a line almost across that's darker. That's indication that the shingle's been lifting up and has caused these granules to fall out. And it's been doing this for quite some time to be starting to show this, but it's only gonna be a matter of time before we get another good windstorm to come through and lift this up and literally break it. And you can tell by how rusted out that screw is, how long that's been going on. Um, and just FYI, the granules job on the asphalt shingle is to sunscreen the UV rays from, um, you know, breaking down and emulsifying the asphalt and making it brittle and getting it to the point to where it loses adhesion like it's doing now. And you can see that they're beginning to lose granules really bad. And you can even see fiberglass on the ends of them where they're so burnt up. So that one just lifts right up too. And you can tell it's done it a little bit, but not quite as much as the other one below um, but yeah it's not going to be long before you start seeing these shingles flying off let's see what we got over here i can see a little bit of ridge line right here you see that yeah see they're just lifting right up as well no adhesion at all let's see if i can find you one with adhesion so you get a better idea all right so we got this we nose loose come uphill so that's actually adhered this one's actually adhered hell well, you're missing that corner right there so you're in the beginning stages, sorry, you're in the beginning stages of losing adhesion. And it won't be long before these things are all flying up and wind will start breaking them off. And then you start getting into a lot of wood replacement and um, the bill just climbs up from there. So you're being proactive by having us out and we can talk about options. All right, thank you, buddy. And I sure hope this video was helpful.